So good afternoon. Good afternoon. And I feel honored to be invited to talk here. I would give uh, two, three sentences about me. The NAP document that has been prepared by Bangladesh, I was the team leader. And the NDC document, there was a four-member panel and I was one of the four. But before that, when UN Water was set up in 2002, I think, UN had a committee called Committee on Energy and Natural Resources for Development, CENRD. And later on, that committee was disbanded or not um, renewed and separate unit under UNEP, sorry, under UN was set up. And incidentally, I was the last chairman of that particular committee. So I know what are the areas where there is serious reservation at the global level and why water is not a major subject at the global level. In 1977, the first global summit was held in Mar del Plata. And the program that was supposed to be held in 1997, 20 years after the first one, could not be held because there were certain countries had reservation. And two units were formed. You, um, one was Water Council and the other one is Water Commission. Anyway, so they, they keep, one group is doing an annual e event uh, every year in Sweden. The other one would do the Global Water Council meeting every three years. The reason I'm saying it, we tried. I have been part of the Bangladesh negotiation team for 15, 17 years. I forgot how many. And many times we wanted to raise water as a thematic issue we failed. About seven, eight years back, it was, we, we wanted to raise two issues. One was agriculture, the other was food. And finally, the task was given to SAPSTA, I think, or SBI. Lots of discussions were held, and it was agreed that we should have a global meeting to scope out on what we want to discuss. You understand, transboundary water management is a think the moment you utter there are certain countries who would raise the red flag. Agriculture became a subject, but water is still not mainstreamed in climate change domain. Having said that, the first global agreement how to handle climate change was the UNFCCC. And it had three goals clearly stated. One, we should like to control the rise of temperature in a manner so that the ecosystems do not suffer. Second, global goal is, has been set up that we ensure food security all over the world. And third, the process of sustainable development is not challenged. So the SDG 6 comes under the umbrella recommendation. Having said that, water in various global meetings, we talk about water, we talk about water supply and sanitation, we talk about overall water management, but climate change is water change. Water cycle is changing, availability is changing. Bangladesh is a land of water. We have the two largest of the top five rivers, we have two. But would you believe in monsoon, we would have 2,000, 3,000 millimeters of rainfall. This year and the previous year, 2022, we did not have rainfall in the monsoon. And would you believe in a country which is supposed to be flooded under waist deep water, we have to pump groundwater to cultivate the crops. That is the change in water availability. It's a big issue. Floods are happening all of a sudden in a particular area. And the cities are very vulnerable because we are experiencing short duration heavy rainfall. Dhaka, 60% of our capital would, would go under in a normal say 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall, but our national adaptation plan has projected we should be ready for 300 millimeters of rainfall um, in a day. So the Bangladesh NAP, I would like to introduce a, a little bit. It is based on top down, so had meetings with the experts, KIII, FGD, university professors, bottom up, the country has 10 divisions, so we went to each division and we went to the remote village. So we talked to the elected person in the administration, talked to the government administrator, talked to the students, talked to business community, 
In total, I think we had more than 1,000 consultation. And we had given huge importance to this consultation. And then we had the middle of the road, top down and bottom up, and the middle of the professionals in the various departments. They have very good understanding on their own topic. But then my job was to kind of put them in an interdisciplinary manner. So very rightly, the uh, Mr. Moderator has said that waterborne diseases are a big issue because the hydrologic cycle is changing. If the hydrologic cycle changes, in Bangladesh we have six distinct reasons, seasons, of which two are we find it they are missing. One is spring. And one of our famous poet wrote a poetry, it says, whether the flowers bloom, bloom or not, I don't care. I will call it a spring. Because the flowering time is changing. The movement of insects are changing. Pollination process is being affected. So you have flood, you have drought, side by side. And you don't know whether your village would suffer from flood or it will suffer from drought. We, have, we live with flood. Therefore, we have the protective measures. We call it embankment. And we have our own the meaning of our own embankment is which is linear and an embankment circles an area we call it polder. In Netherlands they use polder for both the situation. And we have another word called levy, not used much, but dike we use frequently. Anything on the coastal front is dike. And we are Bangladesh can suffer from storm surge height of five and higher meter. So the entire coastal belt is protected with five meter high dike. We are upgrading it to 6.5. But we are now pushing the government to have cyclone shelters next to the polders because that may fail or overtop. But the worst problem that we are facing is sea level rise. And sea level rise is pushing saline water from inland and the southernmost districts, or we call it sub-districts, people are living. Bangladesh is a very high population, 170 million in a small area. And of that, in the coastal belt, which is to grow a lot of food, rice, shrimp, fish, the, the system is changing because salinity is moving in. So a freshwater ecosystem has become a saline front. And what do you do? In, in it, when I was lecturing similarly in a situation in Bangladesh, he said, how far the salinity has moved. Our prime minister's constituency in, is in the middle of the country. I said, it has moved up to the central part, the prime minister's constituency. And somebody asked me, why are you flagging up it? I said, if the prime minister understand his constituency is going to go underwater, I'm sure he will take action. Now, Bangladesh is taking serious steps we produce a tiny amount of carbon dioxide, and therefore mitigation is not our goal. We produce 0.3% global emission. The Prime Minister is, has instructed us that we should go for mitigation as much as we can go to show others that being a poor country, we are still an LDC, and we want to graduate from LDC position to lower middle income country in 2027 on our target to move from lower middle income to middle income country by 2041. So we are moving in that direction and we find that climate change is going to be a major block. So having said that, I will just take two, three minutes and quickly shut up. Uh, one is we have set up six goals. Uh, so the goal number one is protect the actions or areas against climate variability. Now, we all say climate change, but we mean climate variability. Luckily, in Bangla, my mother tongue, we have two different words. One is that describes the long-term situation, which is climate, and short-term, three days, five days, or maybe one day, that we call abha, which is possibly that's an Arabic word, um, the short-term changes. So we have to be prepared for them, and then, we should pay attention to food security, pay attention to agriculture. The five types of crops that we need, I just mentioned, flood tolerant, drought tolerant, heat tolerant, salinity tolerant, and the feed variety that we need is a shorter duration. 
We now have uh, the rice that needs, we have three different times of rice, each is different. So normally they would take 120 days, we now need 70, 80 days. But problem is the research has not gone to the field. The time taken for the farmers to adopt the research result is a little bit long. So we are pushing the government on that. I'm an academic, but I work closely with the government. I have no uh, position, no chair, no cap, anything. But somehow I find my way and tell the government this is what you should do. And I'm grateful to them that listen to me. We should have climate resilient infrastructure. We have built a road and small culverts, but then after two years we find the culvert has been washed away because we didn't esti estimate the flow of water correctly. And we want to integrate the climate change adaptation into the normal development process. And the sixth one is build capacity, transformative capacity. In Bangladesh, being a least developed country, each ministry or each government department works as a silo. There is no horizontal connection, neither at the ground level nor at the middle level. But we are arguing climate actions on climate change is not the job of the climate change ministry. They are going to advise, they are, advise, they are going to guide. But the ministry responsible for this particular activity, like health ministry should take care of the health related issue. In the coastal belt, as the salinity has gone up, women are suffering significantly. Because if you live in a saline environment, your reproductive health is going to be difficult. So we have established good monitoring system. Now we are trying to push the government to move with us. Being an academic, we are a little bit advanced than our government, which our government accepts. Maybe we are a little bit behind the global thinking, but we have good representation in IPCC. We have good representation in the COPS. So we are taking note of the global thinking, going back, advising the government, this is the global thinking. But in the process, I feel local knowledge, folk wisdom, traditional knowledge have a big role to play. So we have what, what the farmers should do 50 years earlier or 100 years earlier that we are trying to collect because that would give us good solution.